Brothers and sisters, well, as I was reading the word today, um, I just want to share what, what I have on my heart today and what the spirit, uh, you know, just, just been speaking to me as of lately. And, uh, I've been going through, I've been going through some things, but, you know, an act of, an act of righteousness takes you a long way in your walk. You just got to keep fighting the good fight and turn away from sin. Um, yes, we're forgiven. We have, we have forgiveness, but we must repent. And just keep moving forward, but but walk the narrow path. Even though you fall off that path, come back to that path and keep seeking Jesus. I just want to share a word with y'all today. May y'all keep me lifted in, in, in prayer, fam, and uh, brothers and sisters from the church. And, uh, you know, I feel amazing today. And and I know that's only God. I went to sleep around 3 o'clock um, in the morning. Um, I was reading the word around that time late last night. Uh, maybe around 1, 1 a.m., maybe something like that. And... Um, you know, I just woke up feeling like I just had a whole day of sleep, just feel real, real refreshed. And I know that, that that's the Lord and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I was reading in Ezekiel chapter 17. No, chapter 18. I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and just read to y'all and uh, we'll go from there. And uh, I just give my my um, what I've received from this from this uh, passage. Chapter 18 in Ezekiel, it says, Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, what do you mean using this proverb concerning the land of Israel saying the fathers eat the sour grapes, but the children's teeth sit on the edge as I live, declares the Lord God. You are surely not going to use this proverb in Israel anymore. Behold, all souls are mine. The souls of my father as well as the son souls of sons are mine. The souls whose sins will die. But if a man is righteous and practices righteous and justice and righteousness and practices justice and does not eat the mountain shrines or lift up his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel. See, this is what I was just talking about. If a man is righteous and practices justice and righteousness, we still got to practice it. Even though we're forgiven, yes, we fall, but do not be discouraged, brothers and sisters. Do not be discouraged, but you must practice the justice of the law. You must practice righteousness and continue forward on a narrow path. Amen. Or defile his neighbor's wife or approach a woman during her menstrual period. If a man does not oppress anyone, but restores to the debitor his pledge, does not commit robbery, but gives his bread to the hungry and covers the naked with clothing. And on this, uh, on this verse, I received, it says, if a man does not oppress anyone, but restores to the debtor his pledge. See, w when you borrow money, you made a pledge to that brother or sister or to that, uh, to that, to, to that person that, that you made an agreement, a pledge to them to, to pay them back, to pay them back with what you borrowed from them. From what God's provided for them. So it says, if a man does not oppress anyone, but restores to the debtor his pledge, does not commit robbery, but gives his bread to the hungry and covers the naked with clothing. You see, when we don't, when we know that we owe that person money, and when we have the money, but yet we still go do things for our own selfishness, we'll go buy a hat, we'll go buy some, some jewelry, maybe some shoes. Maybe um, go out to eat, right? When we know we owe this person money, you therefore became a robber. You see, there's all forms of it. Doesn't mean you got to break into somebody's home, amen? But it says, if a man does not oppress anyone, but restores to the debtor his pledge. You made a pledge to the debtor. You made a pledge to the person that lends you that money. So therefore, you're in debt with that person, right? But when you have that money and you know already, the Lord done told you you owe this person but you just say, no, I'm not going to pay that person for whatever reasons. If you're going through something, then amen. But call that person and let that person know, right? But if you know that you have the money to pay that person, but you choose not to, you therefore have robbed that person. Amen. In Jesus name. And you need to repent, brothers and sisters. Glory to God. Amen. If he does not lend money on interest or take increase. See, a lot of us, we, we lend money. A lot of us, we lend money, but we'll charge interest. But God's telling you, if he does not lend money or interest or takes increase, he don't want you to add increase. He don't want you to, to add interest. 
If you let somebody borrow money, let somebody borrow money out of sincerity of your heart because you love that brother or sister and you want to help them. But do not, do not charge interest just because you're being greedy. Amen. If he keeps his hands from inquity and executes true justice between man and man, if he walks in my status and my ordinances so as to deal faithfully, he is righteous. See, God is saying that you're righteous if you do these things. But I mean, if you do not do these things, but in, in these passages, he was saying that 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 if a man does not oppress, but if a man um, restores to the debtor, meaning you you restore your, your vow, your pledge to the person that you have become in debt with and does not commit robbery and gives bread to the hungry and covers the naked with clothing and does not lend money with interest. He says he walks in my status and my ordinances so as to deal faithfully. He is righteous and will surely live, declares the Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Then he may have a violent son. Then it says he may have a violent son who sheds blood and who does any of these things to a brother. Though he himself did not do any of these things. That is, even eats at the mountain shrines and defiles his neighbor's wife. And a lot of us, you know, we have a, a, a brother or we have a neighbor and, and we're covenanting his wife. We're lusting over his wife. We want his wife or we want another man's girlfriend. You see a man walking with, with, with his woman, you know, they're, they're, they're together. Maybe they're holding hands and you start to lust over her. Turn away, brother. And sister, this goes for you too. If you're looking, if you're looking at, uh, another woman's, um, Man, maybe it's her husband and you're lusting over him that, that you wish you had. Or maybe that thought comes in. Repent of those thoughts for they are ungodly. And, and, and ask for forgiveness and ask God to remove these, these, these feelings from you. Amen. In Jesus name. Oppress it. It says and oppresses the poor and needy and commits robbery. Does not restore the pledge. The pledge we were talking about earlier. But lifts up his eyes to the idols and commits abomination. He lends money on interest and takes increase. Will he live? Will he not live? And it says he will not live. He has committed all the abominations. He will surely be put to death. His blood will be on his head. Now behold, he has a son who has observed all his father's sins, which he has committed and observing does not do likewise. He does not eat at the mountain shrines or lift up his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel or defile his neighbor's wife or oppresses anyone or retain pledge or commits robbery. But he gives his bread to the hungry and covers the naked with clothing. He keeps his hands from the poor, does not take interest or increase, but excuse, but excuse, but executes my, my ordinances and walks in my status. He will not die for his father's inquity. He will surely live. As for his father, because he practices extortion, rob this brother. You see, rob this brother. A lot of us still owe our brothers and our sisters. A lot of us sisters still owe our sisters and our brothers for things that, that for the money they let us borrow, for things that they, that they lend us, but we choose not to pay them back. But it says, it says here, rob his brother. There's all forms of robbery. We just got to discern that in Jesus name. And did was not good among his people. Behold. He will die in his inquity. You see, inquity starts to sneak into our lives. Inquity starts to sneak in and it starts to, 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 to decay our spiritual walk. And we can't even see it coming. But these things we must, if, be honest. See, being a Christian and, and, and being a believer and, and following Jesus is to be honest. To be honest with, with yourself. We have to be honest with our sin. We gotta be transparent with one another. If that brother or sister judges you, who cares? God says, confess your transgressions, your sins to one another, so that we can pray for each other, that there'll be healing in Jesus' name. I don't care what this person might go back and say about me with another brother or another sister, and they start gossiping about me. That's the that's between them and God. I pray that that brother go back or or have have the have the love of Jesus in him to say, I want to fast for you, brother. I want to pray with you, brother. I want to uh, lay hands on you, brother. I want to anoint you, brother. I keep you in prayer. That's between them and God. Start being honest with one another. 
and 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 let that sin not become a stronghold and, and a bondage back in you. Amen. In Jesus name. Yet you say, why should the son not bear the punishment for the father's iniquity? When the son has practiced justice and righteousness and observed all my status and did and done them, he shall surely live. The person who sins will die. The son will not bear the punishment for the father's iniquity, nor will the father bear the punishment for the son's iniquity. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your word, Lord. The righteousness of the righteous will be upon himself and the wickedness of the wicked will be upon himself. But if the wicked man turns from all his sins, which he has committed and observes all my status and practices and justice and righteousness, he shall surely live. He shall not die. All his transgressions, which he has committed, will not be remembered against him. Hallelujah. Because of his righteousness, which he has practiced, he will live. Do I have any pleasure in the death of the wicked? declares the Lord God, rather than, than that he should turn from his wicked ways and live. But when a righteous man turns away from his righteousness, commits iniquity, and does according to all the abominations that a wicked man does, he will live. All his righteous deeds he has done will not be remembered for his treachery, which he has committed, and his sin, which he has committed. For them he will die. In Jesus' name. He says, if you're righteous and you turn away from your righteousness and become in your um, backslide into your wicked ways, none of your righteousness will ever be, re it says, will not be remembered. That's serious. I just want to share, I just wanted to share the word with y'all and um, God bless y'all in Jesus name. I love y'all and I, I pray that, that this minister to a, to a soul today, to a spirit in Jesus name. I, I thank you, Father, for igniting this fire inside of me, Father, that no matter what, Father, when you're called to be a leader, Father, you're called to lead, Father. We're all leaders in Jesus name. But no matter what we go through, Father, a righteous man falls seven times, but a righteous man rises, Lord. And I just pray right now that that one father that watches this video or or, or one that just needs to, to be risen, Father, that, that maybe their flames down a little bit this morning or today. Maybe they're going through something emotionally, Father. Maybe they're just going through something in their life, a situation, Father. I just ask, Father, that you just put somebody in their life that's going to encourage them and rise them, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And just for all, all, all y'all Dallas fans out there, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be fasting and praying for y'all because it's Texan showdown, baby. In Jesus' name, God bless y'all. Love y'all.